Well, good morning, um, everyone. Um, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. It is early in the morning here in the state of Michigan. But I wanted to uh, reach out uh, to my viewers in uh, to the world um, to talk about care plans, um, how I was trained um, as a nurse to create uh, care plans, and uh, um, the importance of uh, eating right so that you could bless your body, bless your health, and uh, complete the full number of days um, uh, on the earth. So when I was in nursing school, I graduated from nursing school in 1994, been a nurse for many, many years. Um, I'm now on the administrative side of nursing. Um, I review medical records uh, for a living, but I still apply all the teaching um, that I learned in uh, nursing school and all of the training that the good Lord sent me to uh, regarding uh, proper nutrition, how to reverse uh, diseases with a fork by choosing uh, plant-based foods to uh, just heal the body and how to cleanse the body. I mean, the Spirit of God uh, just sent me to a lot of training. I even renewed my nursing license in uh, natural health. So uh, I had additional training outside of my training um, in nursing school. Um, I sat down, took my uh, state boards, passed the state boards the first time, and um, I've been a licensed nurse in the state of Michigan for many, many years. Um, I also forwarded my license to the state of Ohio, just in Columbus, Ohio, just in case I ever wanted to, to do some nursing, you know, in my home state. So I just wanted to give you like a brief history of my training. Plus, I uh, traveled the world internationally to interview brilliant scientists and doctors who knew how to take care of the, the body uh, underneath God's natural law. So, um, my training is very extensive. Um, I know what I'm talking about. And there is a link between the foods that you eat and how long you live um, on the earth. And there is a link between uh, clean, you know, cleaning out your body. You must clean out your body. And uh, it's linked to how long you live um, on the earth. So I wanna share a story with you about how I had a special assignment from one of my nursing um, instructors um, I had to pick someone that was willing to allow me to follow their nutrition for one complete week. The person had to be honest, couldn't make stuff up, had to keep a, a journal of what they ate and drank for one complete week. I then had to pick up the journal, um, take it back home, read it, evaluate it, and then create a care plan. Nurses, um, back in my day, had to create care plans. You could not be a nurse if you could not create a care plan. And a care plan outlines the plan of care for that person to improve their health. Um, it gives complete outline, um, a, com a complete outline of uh, the relationship between um, a disease process in the body medications that people are taking and um, the outcome, uh, a positive outcome um, that is uh, needs to be achieved. So that care plan would go into um, a nurse's, uh, a, a medical record chart and nurses and medical doctors will look at the care plan and nurses um, we were responsible for creating uh, care plans. It was reviewed by the doctors. If the doctor wanted to add something or change something, um, he would. But, you know, nurses were uh, responsible for caring enough 
to create a positive outcome for people. And so I remember choosing someone, asking permission if I could use this person, um, you know, or work with this person for my assignment. The person said yes. The person said they would be very honest. I went and picked up the journal of entry for food and fluid intake and I went home and I reviewed it. I mean, I you know, I had to critique and look. I didn't I couldn't judge it because you know, you're not supposed to judge. You're supposed to help people. So I had to review it, critique it, and then as a nurse, as a student nurse, uh come up with a care plan with a positive um, outcome. So when I looked at the journal for the first time in my life, I realized this person that I knew for many years never drunk any water. They never drank any water. And I was thinking to myself, wow, that's odd. I never knew that person. Because, you know, you're not around people 24 hours a day. You don't know what they eat and what they drink. So I saw that and I saw that the person, you know, ate basically, you know, pretty healthy, but just didn't drink any water. So I had to... Um, turn in the journal uh, to my uh, nursing um, instructor and the person knew that it had to be turned in and reviewed by my nursing instructor because my nursing instructor had to critique the journal and then critique my care plan to see if it was a good fit or if I can improve my care plan or whatever. So my nursing instructor called me into her office and she looked at me as I sat down and she said, Lois, you know you're going to have to tell this person you're working with that they have to drink water. If they don't drink any water, they're going to end up being on dialysis. They're going to shut their kidneys down. I said, yes, I know. Um, she said, you're going to have to be honest in love and encourage that person to drink water if they have to squeeze some lemon in the water or some uh, uh, some fruits, you know, juice some a real fruit in the water. They're going to have to do something, get that water down their system because the body is created by God to be flushed, the kid, for the kidneys to be flushed with water, not with anything else. I mean, I don't care how much milk you drink, juice you drink, all that. Only one thing flushes out the kidneys and purifies the blood, and that is pure water. So I said, okay. So I made an appointment to go back to the person to, you know, I, first of all, I talked about everything good that person did, you know, how they were eating and all of that. But then I had to talk about the water part. And the person was telling me they did not they did not like water. And I said, well, you're going to have to add some lemon, some fruit juices from a real fruit um, into your water. You're going to have to figure out a way to get that water into your body. If not, you're going to shut your kidneys down. And you're going to end up becoming um, a kidney dialysis patient. And so... I don't think the person took me uh, very serious and they didn't understand that God was sending a prophetic word about what's going to happen uh, in the future. Um, it came, first of all, from my nursing instructor and it also came from me and God sent that word. I, I delivered the word, but the, it wasn't received. And the person ended up becoming um, a dialysis patient not too many years later down the road. So... I have the ability and I have been trained by my nursing instructor to look at how people eat and to look at how people uh, flush their body or what they're consuming as far as fluids are concerned. And I can look at it. I can look at, at meals and I can tell people what diseases are going to form in their body if they do not make a dietary change and if they don't start drinking um, pure water. And I'm not talking about sink water because sink water has over 700 uh, chemicals. Now, when I was in Paris, France on vacation with my mom, that that water in Paris, France, y'all, is like muddy water. It's the most horrible uh, 
resemblance of water that I've ever seen. I mean, you, you can't drink that water. That water is like muddy water. So the water in the United States is much cleaner, but it has a lot of chemicals in it. And if you smell it, put your nose over the glass, you can smell the water. And I used to have a, a distiller that sits on my uh, kitchen counter. I went through steam distillation for like four hours and uh, it separated the chemicals from the sink water, uh, you know, and, and it would trap the uh, steam on the other side and, and just purify my water. And when I, when it, when it, the process was complete, I would open up the uh part that had the chemicals inside of it y'all it was it was so nasty looking and that was from the kitchen sink and i know a lot of people brush their teeth with that uh sink water in the bathroom they uh they do all kinds of stuff y'all be cooking with that sink water from the kitchen and them but straight up uh toxic poison and um you should have a uh shower filter uh, on your shower head um, in the bathroom and you can get those shower filters online or you can go to your nearest hardware store and attach a shower filter it will protect um, chemicals from coming into your body while you're washing your hair and taking a shower every day or taking a bath um, if you fill up the bath water with the shower uh, water so uh, uh, and a lot of people are getting sick um, from the shower water because they don't have a filter on their shower um, and they're wondering why they're sick with, with all kinds of stuff. It's because the steam water from the shower, unpro unprotected or protected, is just very concentrated. So that means you got a concentration of a lot of different chemicals floating around in the air. So I just want to make sure I share that with you. But anyway, getting back to the care plans. And getting back to the food and getting back to uh, flushing your body out uh, with pure water. You must, you must uh, eat right. This is what I have learned in my 20 plus years of research and studying um, any form of milk product from animal sources produces mucus in the body and all forms of mucus creates diseases. So... I know we got some mac and cheese lovers out there. You're going to have to learn how to eat a vegan. Okay? If you don't want to shorten your life on the earth. Um, let me see what else I can tell you. A lot of meat eating, high volumes of animal meat contact creates high levels of uric acid. That's a, Uric acid is a byproduct of eating a lot of meat okay and not enough uh vegetables um if you're a diabetic you know you can't eat a whole lot of fruit okay but at least get them vegetables um, um in your body um and if you you have a whole lot of meat consumption you're gonna break your kidneys down you're gonna break your whole body down because it's too much uric acid um in the body um gravitate more towards alkaline grains like quinoa there's all kinds of foods you can create with uh, vegetables and alkaline grains i i used to post a lot of different meals up on my facebook page to give people an idea of how to take a vegetable and create a natural soup with it um add some salad with it some quinoa and you can still be nice healthy and full for instance i can take chickpeas boil the chickpeas because it's high in protein uh drain the chickpeas when it gets finished put it in my blender and then uh add it to a, a pot um, and add some distilled water in there and by the way, distilled water is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Distilled water is the water that God created uh, for the human body to cleanse itself. Um, and then after I'm, uh, I put the chickpeas in a, in a saucepan with some distilled water, uh, add some onions, some herbs, uh, my seasonings, and make me hummus soup i love hummus soup it tastes so good um and then i would add maybe cook um 
you know, a pot of quinoa with that, um, a nice fresh salad, and that would have, you know, all my favorite vegetables in the salad, plus um, some avocados. I love avocados in my salad. And then um, maybe some um, saute squash. Saute a little bit, saute a little of the squash in olive oil with some some uh, onions and some seasoning and some herbs. That is a filling meal. It's very nutritious. It's filled with vegetables and um, uh, just healthy, healthy foods. And it is very filling and you just nourish the body um, with foods that would just be a blessing uh, to the body. So um, I just wanted to give you an example um, of how to prepare foods, how to take, you can take any vegetable and turn it into a soup. Um, how do I know this? Because I've done it. I've experimented in my kitchen. I told y'all my house is just an ex experimenting laboratory. I mean, as far as preparing foods, making um, hair growth oils and skin formulas, all kinds of stuff. I'll just be in the house um, experimenting and creating. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you because, you know, you, you can't let your mind limit how you think and then how you uh, take care of your body. Um, I had one um person connected to me on facebook lose 300 pounds because it was a long period of time where the spirit of god kept saying every time you prepare a meal i want you to take a picture of it and then post it up on your facebook page because there are some people out there i want to train them to eat better to take better care of their uh, their body and I don't always know who's looking at my page, you know. I don't know because sometimes people don't respond, but they watch. And so one day, um, a gentleman reached out to me. He said, hey, Miss Banks, I just want to let you know I've been watching you post uh, different types of meals that you eat. You encourage me so much about how to take proper care of the of the body and I just want to let you know that I lost 300 pounds. Um, his, he told me that his doctor took him off a lot of medication because he didn't need it anymore. He said he felt the best that he's ever felt in his life. And he is still losing weight. How powerful is that? How powerful is social media? How powerful is it just to obey God? And y'all know when I come on these videos, I'm obeying God. This is a message that dropped in my heart this morning that, you know, you you have to understand there is a link between what the heck you're eating and drinking in uh, your, your lifespan on this um, earth. And you also, and I've shared this before, you have to do internal cleansing. You can't be going around quoting healing scriptures and you got worms hatching on the inside of your body. Or you haven't flushed out your liver. You haven't flushed out your kidneys. You need to do a mucoid plaque cleanse. I shared that journey with you. There are things inside of your body that God expects you to do. He's not going to come down from the heavens and do everything for you. You got to do it. And that's why I'm equipping people. That's why I come up on social media equipping people and telling them, what they want to do because on purpose you know the dark forces don't want you to know this stuff they want you to be jacked up and sick and 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 suffering and in and, and pain and asking god why and so god is raising up people um to 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 show you and to teach you and i pray i pray that you'll take the information and talk to god about it and not reject it because I don't want anything bad to ever happen uh, to anybody. I want everybody to live out their full number of years uh, on this earth. And uh, to to see their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. I mean, I in health. Okay? In health. You know, so um, I remember this one incident where I was sitting in church. And my pastor was talking about... 
he had lumps and knots and nodules and you know he was speaking to them and they were dissolving in jesus name but you know nurses are trained to scam people you know we will look at you talk to you and scan you with our eyes uh, without you even knowing we'll look at your hair we'll look at your skin we'll look at your the whites of your eyes will We'll scan down at your ankles if you have if you're a lady and you have on a dress or if you're a dude and you have on some shorts we'll scan and look at your ankles if your ankles are swollen we know you're in congestive heart failure we know we know a lot what's going on internally when we scan with our eyes and so I scanned my pastor uh, with my eyes as he was telling this story about nodules being in his body and the Holy Ghost just spoke to me. He said, he's not drinking right. He's not flushing out his body. He's not drinking water. And so I obeyed God. I sent my pastor um, a book. Um, I sent him a letter. I sent him several books. He probably has a library of books. And I told him, you're, you're not drinking water, pastor. You know, um, this is what the Spirit of God has given to me. And my pastor got in the pulpit after receiving a letter from me and he said he wanted to repent to god for not taking care of his body that he was drinking a whole lot of kool-aid now y'all know kool-aid got a lot of sugar that is just not good for you one teaspoon of sugar depletes the immune system for the whole complete day yeah just think about that so you know for all those who have sugar cravings you probably you probably have parasites that's a sign that you have parasites and that you do not have enough chromium inside of your body and i shared this over the summertime you never purchase chromium isolated uh, on its own you always you know with your doctor's permission get a multivitamin and mineral that has chromium and then, you know, make sure you do a parasite cleanse. You can go out to www.alternativehealthlabs.com and purchase a product called Paracease. If you've never done a parasite cleanse, you have them. And I don't care how many scriptures you quoting, that ain't got, that's not going to get rid of the parasites inside of your body. And everybody has parasites if you've never done it. And you spo you're supposed to clean your body out of parasites at least once a year. It's just a process of life and learning how to take care of the body. So this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Um, I'm just being obedient uh, to God and letting you know you have work to do on your body. And y'all i'm the i'm a thinker uh you know i'm an intelligent woman and so you know i don't have time for a whole lot of foolishness or people quoting scriptures and they got worms inside of them people quoting scriptures and they got uh you know gallstones and liver stones and kidney stones inside of them you know you got to do your part there's a part you play with maintaining health um in your body so you know God had to deal with me. He was like, okay, you know, you're going to have to be patient with people, Lois, because they're very unbalanced. And I'm, I'm sending you in to the world to bring some balance so that people can, you know, get in, in alignment to my word. So, um, you know, because I, you know, when I think something is crazy or it sounds crazy, I'm like, Lord, please. Oh, oh my goodness. How can you even think that for instance i'll give you another example when guy used to send me to pastors all kinds of pastors um a lot of pastors were so unbalanced that they were believing that they can eat chemically processed food pray over the food eat the chemically processed food and presto pringo through the prayer the chemicals jumped and leaped off the plate and they ate the food, and that food was going to bless their body. That's all lies. Lies, I tell you. There's all lies from the pit of Hades. There's no such thing. When you pray over your food and you tell God thank you, that's just all you did if you're eating a plate of chemically processed foods. When you eat that poison, it goes down in your body and it affects you. 
It starts destroying the, the brain, the blood, the, the, your organs, uh, your eyes. Okay? I just, I just need everybody connected to me to be thinkers. You, you got to think about what the heck you're doing. Okay? It got to make sense. Okay? So, um, and I'm not putting nobody down. I'm just saying you got to think. You must be intelligent people walking with God. And so I would have to tell these pastors who believe such lies that they were lies and that, you know, they were responsible for congregations filled with people and that they needed to go to God in prayer and to get this thing right. So um, my pastor, he did a great job with that. He he started talking to God because I was on him. I was on him because we just had too many people up in the church. I was on his head. You hear me? In a respectful way. Um, and my pastor brought in um, a doctor by the name of Dr. Lorraine Day, um, who, who uh, was given days to live. She was an orthopedic surgeon. She was given days to live. Um, she had uh, terminal breast cancer. And God began to tell her, everything you learned in, in medical school, trash that. Get back to my Bible and my word and my way of eating and taking care of the body. And I'll heal you. And that's what she did. Dr. Day came. She spent a whole week at my church. I was so happy I was obedient to God because... I was in a nutritional seminar class with Dr. Day for a whole week. She taught the whole my whole entire church how to reverse every sickness and disease with a fork. When I tell y'all God trained me well, he trained me well. And when God tells me to do something, I do it. Do y'all hear me? This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. I'm telling y'all now, y'all going to have to renew your mind to the word of God in nutrition. You can't skip over them verses. God has a lot to say in the, about nutrition in the book of Daniel, in um, the book of Leviticus, uh, in, in the book of Genesis, um, in Ezekiel. God talks about there's healing in the leaves of herbs. That's God's natural medicines. So I just wanted to make sure that I stopped by and encourage you to get in your word and read for real, believe for real, make some lifestyle changes, take excellent care of the temple of the Holy Ghost so that you can live long and strong in this earth. This is Nurse Lois coming to you from the uh, Lois Banks Ministry. God bless you.